Okay, it is Labor Day, and so we're talking, I'm talking with Jenny Lynn Hart about an amazing, wonderful, mir miraculous Labor Day story about when she had an amazing, very tough experience uh, with her daughter when she was giving birth. So, uh, Jenny Lynn, would you like to share this absolutely amazing miracle with everybody and so they can get, uh, have their hearts lifted too, if they ever encounter this too. This is like absolutely, absolutely amazing story. And I'm so glad that you're willing to share it. Um, yeah, uh, where do I start? Well. <laughs> <laughs> um, <sighs> well, 20 years ago, I had my final labor and delivery child. I subsequently adopted two more afterwards, but she was my last um, birth child that I gave birth to. And when I was, I guess about 30 weeks pregnant, she stopped moving and I was concerned and they told me not to be, but I forced them to investigate why she was not moving as actively as she was. And uh, we found out that she had a twisted bowel and that her stomach was larger than her head. So I couldn't give birth to her naturally and it would have to be a planned C-section. So I knew I was giving birth to a sick baby before I gave birth to her. And we went into the hospital to give birth or to have the C-section and uh, I was given an epidural and it didn't work. Oh my. <laughs> and then I was given another epidural, which did take hold. So they proceeded with the surgery. And um, sometime during her C-section, the epidural wore off again. Oh no. Uh, leaving me um, with full sensation. So oh. I knew and felt everything that was happening. Oh. And I, I said, God, take me away from this pain. Like I, it was more than I could bear. And I felt myself floating above myself. I didn't see everything above myself, but I was transcended out of my body and out of the pain. And Thank you, Jesus. somewhere in the back, they had a radio playing and Sarah McLaughlin's song in the arms of an angel was playing. Wow. So, I knew, I knew that was my message, that everything was going to be okay. I knew that no matter what, this was going to turn out okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, the surgery over, they whisked her away to sick kids, and there she went into intensive care, and uh, some point later, I went to visit her probably the next day or so. And she was hooked up to wires and tubes and in a little box and she was sick, very, very sick. And they got, they said that the priest had to come in and give her her last rites that she wasn't gonna make it. Oh my. Um, they were trying to find the obstruction and they had yet to be able to find it and she was slipping away every day that we waited. So mm. um, she did pass away, but she did come back. Wow. And I said to God, I said, please don't let this be her story. Don't let this be the last place I see her. I want to hold her. <laughs> I want to see her grow. I want to see what she does with her life. I, I felt that she had so much to give the world. And that day they found the blockage. Wow. <laughs> they did God it. is so good. Yeah, and they did the surgery and she healed and she came home and... It didn't leave her unscarred, though. She suffered uh, massive brain damage due to the lack of oxygen. And uh, they said she would never walk, never talk, never feed herself. And I just knew that I wasn't going to accept that as an answer and that that wasn't how her story was going to be. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I knew that God had bigger plans for her. Yes. 
So she walks, talks, feeds herself, and is having my first grandchild. Congratulations. Yeah. This is a really wonderful circle story and it's such a good, great reason to celebrate. I really, really appreciate you sharing this because there are so many mums out there that go through some terrible, terrible experiences in labor. I and think that if you, if you believe, and even if you don't believe, even in that moment, if you don't even believe, if you ask for help, he'll help. Yeah. Even if you've never believed in your life, if in mm -hmm. that moment you ask for help, he will help. Yeah. He loves us so much. He does. It's, it's, what a wonderful, wonderful miracle. Thank you so much, Thank Jenny you. Lynn Hart. And, and uh, Jenny Lynn Hart does beautiful, beautiful art. So please, I'm going to put a link to her Facebook page in the comments below. So please go and take a look at her, her Facebook page. She has beautiful artwork that she does. And um, thank you uh, for uh, tuning in to this YouTube and uh, God bless you and keep you and his face shine on you and bring you peace. You can find me over on Twitter too, sister underscore S-U, not F-U. Okay, <laughs> bye-bye.